Hi guys, today is day three of booty week. There's the workout up on the screen. Let's get started. First exercise, you're gonna do three sets of 10 reps on each leg of single leg hip thrust. And I really just love this exercise. It's probably one of my top favorite single leg exercises that you can do. And once you get down the positioning of the dumbbell, cause I'd say that is the trickiest part is just finding a comfortable positioning. But once you get that down, everything else should be pretty much smooth sailing. And like I said, you are doing three sets of 10 reps on each leg just like the street lights lit this town like a fire in a blaze gotta burn it down can't be afraid to leave this out we got this far don't know how we are doing elevated sumo squats with pulses. So you're going to get out the 12 reps and then you're going to end with 10 pulses for each set. Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a start, can't turn back now We know that there's no room for doubt No, we can't turn back now I see danger in your eyes They know we'll burn down the night Coming just like the sunrise Next, we are doing a superset starting off with single leg Romanian deadlifts. So if I'm ever doing this variation where I'm lifting my leg behind me, instead of keeping that leg slightly tapped on the floor behind me, I will lightly hold on to something for stability. I'm not putting any of my actual weight on it. I'm just lightly holding it there just for stability purposes, just because I don't like concentrating on the whole balancing act thing when I'm trying to perform this exercise. I just feel like it takes away a lot of the contact and focus where it should be at. So if you need to lightly hold on to something like me, feel free to do so. If you don't need to do that and you're awesome at balancing, then great. Feel free to do that as well. Just do what works best for you. And with that, you're doing the hip abductions like you're seeing me do right here. 12 reps on each leg for both exercises. Next is going to be frog reverse hypers. I do have a dumbbell between my feet as well to make it more challenging. And you wanna do three sets of 15 reps. Now with this exercise, you guys wanna make sure that as you can see here, your upper body is not moving at all. All. And you really want to make sure that you're also getting that tight squeeze in your glutes at the top of each rep before you go back down.
And to end this workout, we're doing three sets of 25 reps of frog pumps. I absolutely love frog variations. They work really well with my body, but I know they don't for everybody. So if that is the case for you, then replace the frog reverse hypers with just standard reverse hypers and replace these frog pumps with glute bridges and then just put the dumbbell on top like you would and you're still good to go. So either way, anybody can do this workout. So that is it for this workout. I will see you guys tomorrow with day four. So until then, bye guys.